<laughs> Hello, Ekaterina here. And I'm going to show you some next steps of distributive law. This time we'll take two bead bars, a four and a five. I'm gonna say these two are a pair in my sum. So what do I need? I need my parentheses and my plus sign. And I'm also going to collect two numbers for our multiplier, two tiles, two and three. I also wanna make a point that when we have a multiplier, we tend to use the gray tiles, but I'd like you to be able to see them better. So I'm using the white tiles. And again, I need my parentheses and my plus sign. So what do you suppose we do now? We now have two numbers in our multiplier and our multiplicand. Well, we know we have to multiply each number here by each number in this term. So I think you're confident to be able to do that. So let's begin. We're gonna take a four bead, how many times? Two. And now we'll take the five bar two times. going to turn over the two since we completed those products and let's use beads to symbolize the value. Here we have eight and here we have ten. And when we put those together we have eighteen. Now let's take the four three times. And the five three times. And we'll add those together. Four times three. Do you remember what that is? Yes, 12. And five taken three times, five, 10, 15. I used to sing a song when I was little with fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 60. I just do that all the time. Let's put these together and exchange this five and this two for a seven. So now we have these values for these two sums. Let's see how else we can think about this problem. We took our four two times. And then I took my five two times. We're adding each of these together because we need to, because our problem asks us to do so. Took my four three times, and my five three times. So now let's go back to our beads and bring these two values together. All right, we have three tens and we have an eight and a seven. Let's trade in the eight and seven. Eight plus seven is 15. 15 here. So we took our partial products and turned them into our final product right here. And our final product is one, two, three, four tens and a five, 45. Now let's go over here. What's four times two? Eight. What's five times two? 10. What's four times three? 12. And what's five times three? 15. Eight and 10 is 18. 12 plus 15 is 27. And can you add 18 and 27 in your head? Yes, the answer is 45. Does that match up with our product over here? Certainly does. Now there's another way to check this too. What's four plus five? Nine. And what's two plus three? Five. 
And what's nine times five? 45. You can double check this product on the multiplication fingerboard, but I bet you have it memorized. We have a lot more lessons at Guidepost with activities that you can do at home or at school. One of my favorites is in the video description below.